why does your RV bathroom smell like the black tank? You may not realize it, but gray tank water can smell just as bad as black tank water. We had to leave the vent fan on basically 24 seven uh, just to keep the smell out of here. Smells in the RV are a no bueno. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.live. have a stubborn RV tank smell? Well, we sure did, and it took a little while to troubleshoot it, but today I'm gonna share what we discovered by showing you three simple and cheap ways to eliminate RV tank odors forever. Plus stick around till the end because I've got a must-have cheap RV upgrade that will help you eliminate your black tank odors yeah, stick around for that. And if you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you catch all of our how-to videos. Why does your RV bathroom smell like the black tank? Well, I got this quick tip from Jim over at Clean Tank on what to do. And no, it's not a break somewhere in your black tank, which is what I thought it was. And when I open up underneath the sink, Ugh, it just reeks in here. <laughs> I thought I had an issue with the black tank having like a crack in it or, or something like mechanically wrong with it. But actually I'm gonna go up on the roof of the RV and we're gonna do something really quick to make sure that it's clear and venting properly. It's a little windy up here. I'm on the roof of our RV and basically what I'm gonna do is I've got this old water hose that's only been used for gray water before in the past. And I'm just simply going to take this and we located the vent right here off of the main bathroom. It's gonna pop the cap off, or pop it off most of the way. And we're just gonna like, for about 60 seconds, flush that out, like whatever is in there. Uh, you can get wasp nests and just stuff built up in there that something might be blocking, uh, you know, that odor from coming out. And that's why it's going into the bathroom and smelling terrible. So let's give it a shot. Let's see if that did the trick. Oof, still smells in here. We're gonna turn the fan on, give it a few minutes to vent. Then we'll check it and see if the smell is out of here and goes away completely. Cross our fingers here. <laughs> that solution actually didn't work for this smell. Diagnosing the right smell is like half of the battle. But that tip actually will help you eliminate some clogs in your black tank vent. So definitely keep that in mind if you're having an issue. But is this particular smell that we have coming from our black tank? I thought we had an issue with our black tank. I started noticing a smell in the bathroom that reminded me of a problem that we had in our previous RV when the black tank had a leak. As I was trying to figure out what it was, it seemed like when we would shower and the gray tank would fill up, it would get worse. And then opening up the cabinet down here, you would really get the stench coming out of there. We had to leave the vent fan on basically 24 seven uh, just to keep the smell out of here and I finally uh, did what a lot of you guys too. I got on YouTube to try to figure it out. And the very first 
video talked about something called an air admittance valve. Have you ever heard of this? But yeah, there is a valve down here. We'll get a light in here and show it to you. So basically, that little valve right there, it's kind of all a part of this system below your sink. You may not realize it, but gray tank water can smell just as bad as black tank water. The air admittance valve, and it's similar or the same thing as what you would have in a sticks and bricks, but it just helps to make this system all work together. It stops your P-trap here from emptying out completely, uh, like from the suction or a siphon when you are running water through it. It just kind of keeps the pressure equalized is my understanding of it. The point being, it, it just, they go bad apparently. And even though this RV isn't that old, so, the cool thing about it is you can just pop that thing off by hand. It doesn't require any tools. And uh, find a spare one like this one here on Amazon. And they're not very expensive. So I'm going to pop this thing off and get a new one on there and see if this smell goes away. There it is. That should be the culprit, this little guy right here. Well, as a temporary fix, we're just going to put a plastic bag over that with a rubber band. And you could do that as well if you got to get this on order and wait for it for a little bit. Put a plastic bag with a rubber band around it, it might help to keep down the smell. There we go. Hopefully that will help stop the stench from coming back in the RV. All right, got the new one right here. And we'll take this bag off. I think it helped with the smell a little bit. There we go. And we'll cross our fingers that in the morning it won't smell in here anymore. Yes, it's been about 24 hours since we did this and no more smells. So, Again, this was a cheap fix, about $10 for that part. But what if you are getting black tank fumes in your bathroom? What do you do then? Well, I've got a simple, cheap, and must-have upgrade that we're going to share right now. And actually, Dave, the RV tech, is back to help us with this. We are going to swap out the old black tank vents and put in the Lippert 360 siphon vent. Yeah, these are awesome. They actually use even a slight breeze like we have today to help vacuum, suck out those fumes and eliminate them from your RV. Also, there's a screen built in so that bugs can't get down in there as well. So let's get those installed. Have you ever ran water down these to unclog them? Yes. Okay. I just did that over there when I was trying to troubleshoot that smell <laughs> from the air from the air admittance valve. Oh, that's pretty neat. Look at that screw. Oh my gosh. This wasn't a COVID build. <laughs> this was uh, 2019. I never know where you're gonna find it. You never know what you're going to find when you take off the sealant. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see if these 360 siphons are all the... cracked up to all the hype that, <laughs> that everybody raves about them. <laughs> yeah. What is that that you're putting on the bottom of this that? This is butyl. Oh, that's the butyl. Yeah. Okay. So that seals it from the other side. Yes. Okay. Another layer of protection, I guess. <laughs> There's nothing there. That's probably why that screw wasn't sucked down. I guess you just put it in at an angle, huh? I'm going to try and get a hold of something. 
nope, nope, now there's a hole right there. Mess with the other six holes that are there. We'll just goop it on there real good with sealant. Okay. I'll try and run a screw in right there. Just maybe. Stab myself. There we go. This is gonna. <laughs> Gonna use up a little bit of that stuff with this job. Yeah, huh? it'll be definitely be sealed. I don't like digging at that stuff on the roof. Sometimes you have to, but if you don't have to be poking around with a sharp object on your rubber membrane, you want that on there. What is, what's that gonna it's, do? It covers the screws, but uh, I, I guess we don't need it, right? Pretty much covered the screws with all that. Yeah. high. You said this piece right here? Yeah, I'm going to have to probably cut that off. Another Milwaukee tools to the rescue, huh? Oh, I love that thing. Yeah, that's handy. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Yeah, if you're plumbing under a sink or something, you can turn that blade sideways. Oh, it's, wow, yeah, cool. They're awesome. Just the thing the doctor ordered, huh? Now I'm gonna put some self-leveling on there. Okay. Just because I don't want that. So it just pops on, huh? It does, but and it probably would never go nowhere. But now I know it's not gonna. Does it look like these would with that thing right there would be less likely to have bugs and stuff go in there? Probably. Or do those I mean, have a no these are wide open, they just wide open so okay so they're just wide open oh right yeah I grabbed a water hose and flushed it down there for about a minute on somebody's recommendation yeah that works good so I mean, anything little stuck in there it'll push it down into the tank so my Lo old local dealer in Moose Lake, Minnesota, they, I remember them being pretty reasonable uh, working on a problem. Yeah, I've had people tell me the parts are more expensive down here, the labor's more expensive. Well, I guess it would make sense, like with demand, uh, you know, the demand would be greater down here. There was one, one I talked to, I think that, uh, their service fee, and I don't think they were that far away, their service fee for coming out was just was $300 just to come out. Yeah, so over 400 Wow. So does it actually pop or is it just pressure? It's just pressure on there, but oh. I'm gonna glue that baby on too. Okay, you fi finish up up here just as the sun comes out, huh? Yes. We gotta make sure we get all the way past all them screw lines. We got a bunch of holes from your old. Did you bring enough of that stuff? Oh yeah. <laughs> you probably gotta keep that by the case, huh? Yeah, some of these roofs, you know, you do a complete reseal, you can go through 18, 20 tubes of it on a big RV. Wow, that one's done, huh? This stuff used to be cheap too. It used to, you know, I feel like two years ago that was like ten dollars. Okay. Now I think it's like twenty-two. Oh, per tube, huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Now, if you're new to the RV life or even experienced, I have a course that you can get available for free. It's the beginner's guide to RVing, and it's through RV Life or RV Trip Wizard. So if you are already a member, you can get this course completely for free. And as you may have heard me mention before, we love our RV Life and RV Trip Wizard uh, membership because that's how we navigate through the country and make sure we stay on RV safe roads. We keep track of our entire camping schedule and uh, it's just great being able to input all the campgrounds that we're going to be staying at and the dates and then it tells us the route to take. 
We love it. Uh, actually, I'll put a QR code right here so you can just scan it with your smartphone. And actually, I'll give you a code here on the screen that will save you 25% off of your membership. Yes. And then you can go to RV Masterclass, which is part of RV Life, and find my course. And again, there will be a link to this down below in the description and the pinned comment, as well as our other favorite camping apps. It has been over a month since we installed the 360 siphon vents and we have had no issues at all with our black tank smells. So if you follow all of these steps and get a clean tank professional cleaning done, don't know what that is, we'll put a link down below to our complete black tank masterclass where you can watch what this is and learn all of the mistakes that you've been doing wrong with your black tank and that should get you set up for smell free RVing going forward and I've got another special video just for you that I picked out and you can watch it right here.